Hey guys, it's Aaron, and today we're going to 3D model this coffee cup. I really wanted to do another step-by-step -step modeling process video, uh, but I couldn't come up with anything good or, or there wasn't anything recent that I modeled that made any sense. So I was looking around and I saw this and I'm like, this is a good opportunity because we can do some 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 round shapes, you have some shapes that intersect other shapes, and we even have some follow me opportunities. So lots of options on how we could model this. There's actually, I could think right off the top of my head, three different ways to create this cup. So we're gonna hop right in and we're gonna model this. I'm not gonna put dimensions. I, I would just go grab a coffee cup out of your own house and, and maybe get yourself a little tape measure, something like this. And uh, yeah, follow along with the real thing. Don't don't worry about what I'm modeling exactly. Get your cup and and you measure and model that thing. Okay, let's go. All right, so uh, our coffee cup, as most coffee cups tend to be, is based on a circle. So I'm gonna zoom in here. Whenever I work on a circle, I like to work off the middle of the circle at the origin. This does not actually change anything. It doesn't affect how good the model is, anything like that. It's just nice because then I know the middle of my model is on this point and it just makes it easier to, re to reference. So we're gonna start with the circle. So a default circle has 24 sides. I want this to be a little smoother than that, not terribly smooth, but I'm gonna go up to like 48 sides and hit enter. And then I'm gonna drag this out like this. So this is gonna be the base of my coffee cup. So based on a quick measurement, my coffee cup is about three and a half inches. So since we're drawing the radius, we'd want to put in half of that. So half of three is an inch and a half plus a quarter is one and three quarters. So I'm going to put 1.75 inches and hit enter. All right, there we go. So that's the base of my coffee cup. And, and based on the size of me coffee cup, that seems about right. Um, every once in a while, when I have to do that kind of math, I will doubt myself. So sometimes I'll just draw a quick edge across like that and look in the lower right corner and see what is the exact dimension that I just modeled. And it is in fact, three and a half inches. Perfect. All right, let's, uh, let's start making this 3d. So like I said, there's several different ways I could think of doing this. I'm going to do it the way that I'm doing right now. I'm going to grab this and I'm going to offset that up. I'm going to pull that up. Like not a lot, maybe like a quarter inch, right? So whoops, I wrong. Let's say offset. I'm sorry, I'm saying offset. I want to push pull. I want to pull that up a quarter inch. It's first thing in the morning. You guys saw my coffee's still full. So I apologize, I'm a little off there. Now I'm going to offset this another quarter inch. And then we will bring this up another three and a half inches. All right, so that gives me a good solid coffee cup shape to begin with. Now, a couple things I want to do here. Uh, I'm fine with the way this is all looking, except my coffee cup has a distinctly rounded over top section right here. It's not it's not flat straight across like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here and I'm going to draw an edge straight across right there. You see, I did inference so that I was drawing on the red axes. So this takes this can take a little bit of practice. If you if you try this and you you accidentally end up like over here and you don't connect, not a big deal. Just disconnect. You want to get to that one right there that is on the right axis. If you flip to the top, sometimes it can be a little easier to see where that is. But yeah, so we're going to go straight across with an edge. And then I'm going to draw uh, a circle right here. So I'm going to draw a circle. My circle is going to be upright on the green axis. I'm just going to pull it across like that. And then I'm going to, for actually, first thing I'm going to do, if I hit x-ray right now, I left half a circle inside the mug. I don't want that. I want to get rid of it. So I can do it a couple different ways. Uh, I can hit x-ray and I can erase and swipe right here to get rid of it. The other thing I do is anytime geometry comes really close to overlapping like this, I'll sometimes get a little bit shadow of a line. And sometimes I can drag my eraser right by that little tiny shadow and get rid of that piece. That's just kind of a, if you're good at uh, doing this, you'll get used to, to that. See here, I got a little bit of little, little chunk of geometry left behind there too. All right, that was good. So I'm, gonna, I'm just hitting X to toggle X-ray on and off. Great way to peek inside a model. I'm gonna grab my circle. I'm gonna hit follow me. I added follow me to my toolbar up here. If you don't have it showing up here, it is on the large toolbar if you have it on the side, or if you just go up to tools, you can hit follow me here also. And then I'm gonna click this right here. 
and there we go. So now we got a nice round shape on the top. Uh, I do have this extra edge, but if I triple click, come over here to soften smooth edges and just click that, there we go. All soft, all smooth. I'm not gonna bump my lip on that nice rounded corner. Okay, that looks pretty good. So the only other thing we have, the, the coffee cup's a pretty easy shape. Well, I mean, I shouldn't say it's easy. It does have a little, little bit of extra geometry here, this like this. But the other thing we have is this, this uh, handle on the side. So I'm gonna model that off to the side and then we're gonna bring them together. So I'm gonna start by grabbing all this and just make it a group. So not, I just wanna be able to, when I bring my geometry from my handle in, I wanna be able to move my handle in and out and figure exactly where it goes before uh, merging it. So I don't want it to accidentally merge beforehand. So I'm gonna draw this on the ground. I'm gonna start with a circle. I'm just gonna go like about that big. Again, I just, just drew a circle. I'm gonna grab it, I'm gonna scale it, and I'm gonna squish it like, And then I'm going to take this, I'm gonna triple click and make it a group. Right, I'm gonna take that group now and I'm going to use rotate to get it vertical. So I wanna just come in here and uh, I'm gonna rotate this along the green axis, a little bit like this. And then I'm doing this because now I want to bring it in, I'm gonna put it into my coffee cup and I'm going to move it upwards and now I can scale exactly how big it is. So that's, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a follow me to put geometry on here. So this is the center line. So I do want this smaller than this. I wanna go smaller. Yeah, something like that actually looks better. So move this down vertically. All right, so yeah, so if this was, the, if I delete the face out of here, then you can see just, that's the handle. It's gonna go a little bit bigger than that. That looks good. I'm gonna use that. That's my, that is now my handle profile. All right, so let's let's come in here. I'm gonna draw another circle. This one I'm gonna draw flat right at this point. And it's gonna be, again, I'm just eyeballing stuff at this point because I'm gonna deform this. There we go. I'm gonna grab that circle and I'm gonna scale that. I wanna hit my modifier key to scale about the center. So uh, if you don't know your modifier key, just look down at the bottom. Here I'm on max, so it says option to toggle about the center. So I'm gonna hit my option key. I'm gonna scale this in like that. Yeah, that was good. Let's try, let's try follow me. I'm gonna grab this again, follow me with this circle, and I will have my handle shape. Oops, I, I didn't do that right. Because this is since this is in a group, I can't use it as an edge, so I'm just going to explode it back out. And now I'm gonna say follow me and hit this circle. And there we go. So now I have, that's really close to the shape that I have. So I'm gonna grab all of them and triple click and make it a group. All right, now I wanna make sure I line it up. So I'm gonna go to move. And I wanna get the middle uh, point on this edge right here. So you can see when I move over this, I have these, these handles I can grab at the corners, but I want the middle of this edge. If I look down at the bottom, uh, command, I'm sorry, uh, here we go. Um, command, because I'm on Mac again, if you're on Windows, look on, at the command, or at the, the key down there. Command's gonna cycle through the steps, or the spots that I can toggle, there we go. I'm, toggle, or I'm, I'm moving by that middle piece. I'm going to come over here on the red axis and I'm just going to line it up with, you remember how I talked about keeping this on the origin so I could find the middle point? So if I want to line this right up, I can come under here and I can go right there. And I know that now the middle of this is on that green axis. So now as I slide it back this way, as long as I stay on green, I know I'm in line with where I wanted this to be. All right, so there we go. Uh, you know, I'm going to go up. Just a little, it's a little bit higher, so I'm gonna use my vertical, move it up. All right, that looks pretty good, I don't need this. So I'm gonna delete that. All right, so now here's the thing that's happening. This is lapping into the inside of the cup, which is okay, We this nothing, there's no problems right now. But we do want to get rid of the inside, not just here, but we want the inside where this laps inside of here to go away. That geometry should go away, and then we wanna merge these two together. So now, there's a couple things I could do. I could grab both of these and I could say outer shell, and then come in here and manually start chipping away and get rid of this piece. Um, I could use trim. Trim would be an option, because trim would leave this piece and this piece separate, so I might be a little easier to clean this off. Uh, but I'm gonna propose something totally different. I'm gonna grab both of these, I'm gonna right click, and I am going to intersect faces 
with selection. That's going to give me some edges that are not actually connected to any of the geometry. Okay, so right now I have, here's this piece, here's this piece, and if I move them, you see I have some floating circles right there. That's what I want. I want those floating circles. I only want these two right here specifically. So I'm gonna grab that and that. I'm gonna command X to cut it. And I'm gonna come into context here, and I'm gonna go view, component edit, hide rest of model, and I'm gonna say edit, paste in place. That's gonna bring those two circles in, and it's gonna cut, hopefully, all this together. So sometimes you'll get this, where, oh, it still says it's all one. If I look around at these edges, I find a spot where, oh, it just didn't quite connect right here. Let's just draw an edge like that. And then with that, now this is a separate piece I can delete. Nice. So now that meets up where it should. Uh, I could come over here and just get rid of these all together, delete those. And the last thing I'd want to do is bring these together into one piece. So I'm going to grab both of them. I'm going to explode. And that might be enough. That might actually be enough to intersect this. If I go to X, I might be able to uh, swirl my head around inside here and see if there's actually a face on here or not. It looks like that face didn't intersect. So I could do one last intersect where I can grab all this geometry, right click, intersect face with selection. And then that probably gave me, probably broke my face now. So if I peek in here, I might be able to get rid of, oh, it's gone. Uh, there we go. All right, um, there we go. We got a coffee cup. I should probably group that again. Make group. And uh, I have a coffee cup for face me Aaron. And see, again, based on the approximate values, that looks about right. That looks pretty good. And this is what a scale figure is. is this is what a scale figure is for, <laughs> is for looking at stuff like this and going, yeah, that's the right scale. So there we go. There is my quick and dirty coffee cup. Uh, if you follow along, you should have something very similar. So thanks for uh, following along with me. Thanks for uh, hanging out with me. My morning cup of coffee still. It did a couple steps incorrect, but corrected myself. It's because this is still full. It's not, you know. Uh, but let me know what you thought of that video. Um, I really like making these follow along modeling videos. Somebody asked, you know, can you put the final dimension thing up on the screen first? And I like that idea, but uh, it's a little more practical sometimes to have to do it yourself. So that's why I kind of push you to go measure your own coffee cup. Um, but yeah, let me know how that turned out for you. Let me know what your mug looks like. If you want to, you can throw it up on our forum in the gallery section and tag me. Uh, let me know how that turned out. Um, but yeah, I like to make more of these videos, but I'd love to hear other thoughts of what you guys think would be good to model. We have 10 to 15 minutes in these videos, so keep that in mind when you ask, send in requests. Uh, a lot of times people send in requests for very intricate models, and I hate to say that, no, I can't build an entire engine in less than 10 minutes. Um, not without speeding it up significantly to the point that you probably wouldn't even understand what happened in that time. But uh, if you do have specific things you want to see, see modeled or, or that kind of thing, let us know. Uh, let us know down in the comments or on the forum, and uh, we will take a look at that. If you like that video, click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week around here, and you'll be notified if you subscribe. But like I was saying, most importantly, above anything else, leave us a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this video. Let me know if you have other ideas for models you should make, or if you have other concepts, ideas, thoughts on things we should make on this series. We like making these videos a lot. We like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.